20 in a row here since the loss at 94 have the Gators. Sean, I've been in a lot of games during my 29 years of coaching, and two and a half minutes on the clock is a lifetime if you're on defense, which Florida State is, and if you're on offense, really, it's a lot of time, particularly with two timeouts. The last three Florida scoring drives have taken a minute and seven seconds, two minutes and 26 seconds, and one minute and 39 seconds. So they have reverted back to their old ways of scoring quickly. In this one. 2.38 remaining, FSU by four. A punt return by Warwick set up the short scoring drive. Two timeouts left for Florida. Elijah Williams back of the goal line with Bo Carroll. And Carroll will be forced to down it. We welcome you home to America's Night of Television tonight on CBS. Tune in to Dr. Quinn, Medicine Woman, Early Edition, and Walker, Texas Ranger. That's all tonight on CBS. And we need to tell Jane Seymour she has a tough act to follow tonight. Number one ranking hanging in the balance, perhaps on this drive. Could be a last chance opportunity for Florida with 2.33 remaining. Gators started their own 20. Johnson lost it deep. Green is behind the defense. He's at the 35. He's at the 25. And he's tackled at the 17 yard line by Tay Cody. Florida came with the blitz. They blitzed their inside linebacker. Samari Roll trying to cover man-to-man -man against Jaquez Green. What an afternoon Jaquez has had there for Florida. 63 yards. The redshirt freshman Cody with the big tackle that saved the touchdown. And perhaps the number one ranking. Doug Johnson remains at quarterback. Draw play to Taylor. Big hole left. Taylor may go. Fred Taylor! at the one yard line. It's a little draw play by Florida and Sack Pillar, number 69, the left tackle, along with Ryan Kalich and the tight end. Those are the guys, they make this play work. It's just a little slip draw to Fred Taylor. He finds that crease, breaks it outside for the huge game. Kevin Smith banged him out. Johnson remains the quarterback. Taylor the lone back. First and goal at the one. Taylor to the end zone. Touchdown! They went 80 yards in three plays. Perhaps too quickly. Collins Cooper with a huge extra point. This would make it a three-point game. Florida State could still tie it with a field goal. That one sneaks inside the right upright. Fourth rushing touchdown of the day for Fred Taylor. Well, Sean, I hate to say I told you so, but at the beginning of the telecast, we mentioned Florida's offensive line and Fred Taylor. Could they keep this game alive for Florida? I think they have today, and the quarterback play between Brendice and Doug Johnson has been beyond expectations. And Johnson, who was banished to the sidelines, yanked from his starting role earlier in the season after an off-the-field episode when he was out past curfew at a local establishment two nights before the LSU game. 
That game two days later was the first loss of the season for Florida. Johnson really been heavily criticized and scrutinized since, but he was in there and remained in there for that entire drive. Well, and you know, you know what's what's amazing to me too is the afternoon Jacquez Green has had. Florida entered the game and said, "We've got to get him the ball. Find ways to get him the ball," and he has lit him up today. He's been unstoppable. Florida State has the fast break offense. They have a kicker with a very strong leg. They have enough time to score a touchdown, certainly, and more than enough time to get into field goal range. Sean, no question. Remember I said two and a half minutes is a lifetime if you're playing defense. A minute and 50 seconds in these kind of games is a lifetime if you're playing defense. Now it's Florida's turn to experience what that lifetime's all about. Florida went 80 yards in three plays. That took just 48 seconds. Stevenson kicks off. It's returnable. Lavernius Coles. Did not reach the 20. Elijah Williams led the coverage team 17 yards, the return. Florida State has one timeout. Remember, Bobby Bowden used the timeout when he seemed to be pondering, changing his philosophy a moment ago, and then he elected to stay with the field goal. Louder than it has been all day with the Gators on defense. Busby running for his life. Back to the line of scrimmage, and that's all. And the clock runs. Three sacks for the Gators. It has taken the Seminoles a while to line up for this play. Second and 11. Busby has a man. Bad pass might have been deflected in route. It was intended for E.G. Green. E.G. Green working again in the slot. He's the guy they're trying to get the ball to. Tony George, who's been trying to cover him all day long. They're in a zone coverage this time. They don't play man-to-man. -man. He's wide open in that zone. Bad Busby just didn't get the ball to him on that particular play. Now Florida State's got two downs to make 10 yards. Busby with a four-man rush. Throws, intercepted! Clay Thomas! Johnson takes a knee, now tempers flare. Deafening noise being made by the Gator fans, and you have the feeling they're cheering just as loud in the state of Michigan for this play. Watch number 52, Dwayne Thomas. He drops in zone coverage, plays a curl route to perfection. He dropped an earlier interception in this game, but he didn't drop that one. And Bob Stoops, the defensive. Florida State cannot stop the clock. Well, he said at the top of the telecast, if the Gators cannot defend their national title, the next best thing for Florida is to make sure the Seminoles don't win it. And that is likely what happened here today. Michigan will be number one in both polls. And Nebraska will likely be number two in each. Brindice takes the final snap. And Florida is still alive for an Alliance Bowl. A huge victory. Sealed by Thomas's interception.